Congratulations, you've made it through the first five modules of this class, including the chemistry section. And I hope the chemistry section was a lot of fun. Students in the past have thought it was really cool that you can turn cabbage into a pH indicator and extract DNA from strawberries. This video is to tell you what to do next. Ba -dum -bum. In this module, you will be putting together your seedling experiment with your group. Plan carefully with your group on Canvas so that you all grow the same type of plants in the same way. Each of you will grow two pots of plants at home. One pot will be normal and the other pot you will have a test condition that you want to see how it will affect the plants. Read module six instructions carefully so you know what to do. And I would be delighted to help answer any questions you have. As your plants grow at your house, you will measure them every day and upload the height for your whole group to see. Your group will be there to answer your questions and help you know what to do. Stay in touch with each other during the experiment. After everyone in your group has measured their plants growing every day for seven days and put the data online for you, you will use all of your group's data to write an individual paper for yourself. The beauty of having a group here is that your data will be more accurate and just in case your own plants didn't grow for some reason, you will still be able to write a paper using your group's data. I have learned some really interesting things about plants from past student experiments and my students have loved growing their plants, so I hope you have a fun time with this. Stay in touch with me and your group if you have any questions.